Police detectives spent several weeks searching for clues after an autopsy ruled their deaths a homicide. Police saying Wang and Nguyen were both armed before opening fire on one another. I was shocked, I mean, to hear that they supposedly shot, e shot each other. I mean, I mean, there must have been a reason why, you know, they came to that point where they had to draw weapons uh, amongst each other. So that's what I was shocked about. Investigators learning from witnesses that Wang and Nguyen, who both worked at the private farm, got into an argument. What the argument was about remains a mystery. It is very sad, very sad. And, you know, uh, we don't know if it's a dispute over, I guess, whatever they were dealings that we're doing over there, the, the farm or whatever. So I guess we just have to wait for GPD to conclude their investigation. Authorities say Nguyen fired his weapon multiple times hitting Wang. Wang also opened fire using his gun to shoot Nguyen in the torso. Investigators have not released any additional information about the pair. It still raises a lot of questions as why they shot each other, I guess. I mean, we won't really know because the two individuals are deceased, so we won't really know what really happened. Sanchez also unaware who owns the property where the shooting occurred. Something, yes, you they only, only see out of a movie, but, you know, times are changing here in Guam. You know, with all the guns that are here on island, you know, we don't know who has guns, who doesn't. Farmers tell KUAM they are armed to protect their cattle and crops from stray dogs and wild pigs. While police say they are not looking for any additional suspects, Sanchez says the latest information from investigators offers some closure for those who live close by. I'm glad there is closure so that way the, the residents in that area can rest at ease that it wasn't a random shooting where somebody came in there and shot these two individuals. A man is placed under arrest accused of sexually molesting a girl known to him. 57-year-old Michael Ray Saunders is charged with two counts of second-degree criminal sexual conduct and indecent exposure. Court documents state the 11-year-old girl reported that her, to her school that Saunders had been molesting her for the past year. In one incident, a family member walked in on Sanders allegedly showing the girl his genitals. When confronted about it, Saunders allegedly told the family member the child was jumping on his back and fell and pulled his pants down. Saunders denied the allegations. Twice cleared of all criminal charges, spiritual healer and former port cop Frank Sinicholas may have been acquitted of all allegations of sexual assault, but his fight in local court is far from over. His second trial drawing heated arguments from both parties. Now defense attorney Jay Ariola wants the prosecutor who tried the case sanctioned contending she was outright professional throughout the trial. Unprofessional does not begin to describe her conduct. That's what defense attorney Jay Ariola stated in his motion for sanctions and a motion to show cause against now former assistant attorney general Rochelle Canto. As KUAM News reported, Ariola's client, Frank James San Nicolas, was acquitted in July of allegations that he raped a woman in a cave in Tangisan area more than two years ago. A legal battle the former poor police officer was dragged through twice. At the end of 2021, San Nicolas was also acquitted of allegations that he raped a separate accuser also at the same beach. Attorney Ariola's lengthy motion cites multiple concerns about Canto's behavior and misconduct in the courtroom during trial over the summer. Court documents stating, ex-assistant attorney general Canto called me a liar and a cheater in open court. In response to the motion, the office of the attorney general argued Ariola also took part in the verbal disputes, calling her, quote, an incompetent prosecutor, a spoiled brat, dumb and stupid. Ariola also arguing Canto's claims were false whenever she said in open court that Ariola lunged at her in the courtroom and harassed her. The AG's office responded, quote, it cannot be considered misconduct for an attorney to make a record that she feared for her safety based on opposing counsel's aggressive behavior towards her. Additionally, Ariola called Canto's public resignation from the AG's office during trial unprofessional. We reached out to the former assistant AG. She tells KUAM News, Mr. Ariola and his law firm's allegations are meritless, and I look forward to defending them vigorously in court. According to the AG's office, their prosecutors can quit their jobs and are never silenced from publicly speaking out. The AG's office strongly opposed Ariola's request, asking the court to toss it, stating, Because San Nicolas was acquitted, the trial court's jurisdiction has been exhausted. The court denied that request, and Ariola's motion will be heard on November 15th back in Superior Court.
And the potential relocation of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service headquarters is drawing concerns from two local senators. They fear it could open the door for irreparable harm to one of Guam's most important cultural and historical sites, an area we know as Lee Texan. Nestor Lucanto reports. Speaker Therese Terlahi and Senator Sabina Perez attended an annual briefing by the military Thursday on the environmental impacts of build-up projects at Northwest Field and Marine Corps Base Camp Blas. But Senator Perez says it's not just any place they're talking about. The Texan, she says, can be considered the birthplace of the Chamorro people and has a high concentration of cultural artifacts and human remains. And even the, um, the military's um, archaeologists confirm that. He stated that uh, when asked uh, about the importance of this location, he stated, quote, that it is one of the most important cultural resources areas in the Pacific. What raised the concern was a new revelation about the relocation of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Headquarters from one area of Latexan to another. Terlahi says it speaks to just how massive the firing range will be. They're relocating the building and everyone should be reminded that they're relocating this building because the current building is part of the surface danger zone for the last firing range, the largest of all the firing ranges of the five range complex. They believe any uncovered cultural artifacts should be preserved in place. In fact, they say the entire area should remain intact because of its cultural relevance as a once large continuous village. Separately, Terlahi also questions the military's lack of transparency in limiting public and media access to this year's briefing and site tours. And it's very disturbing because this is the Chamorro people's cultural sites. It's their sites and, and it's like cutting them off from knowledge that they they should be privy to. What are they trying to hide now? Are they trying to hide the amount of burials that they found at Andy South, at the, that they found at, um, you know, um, NCS, the, the Camp Blas area. They intend to monitor the proposed relocation, and if push comes to shove, they will ask State Historic Preservation Officer Patrick Luhan to invoke a provision in his formal deal with the military to halt further construction. We really need to renegotiate this programmatic agreement, if not terminate it, um, because you know we can't just extend any project to fit under it, because, yeah, um, you know, it's not serving our, it's not serving the interest of the Chamorro people. Paris says when pressed, the military said there's been no final decision yet on the fish and wildlife facility relocation, but it will ultimately be up to Joint Region Marianas Commander Admiral Benjamin Nicholson. For KUAM News, I'm Nestor Lacanto. And the military has scheduled a press briefing for Friday on the 10th Annual Programmatic Agreement Workshop. GovGuam's single largest annual contract is now a done deal. The Department of Administration has signed off on the fiscal year 2023 employee health insurance contract with providers Calvo Select Care and Take Care. The new deal takes effect October 1st and open enrollment is expected to begin next week. Here's Select Care Plan Administrator Frank Campillo. So this year uh, we are chosen as the plan that will offer a health insurance plan. We're also going to offer, uh, uh, ensure the foster children program. And in the health insurance plans, we offer three programs. We offer the HSA 2000, the PPO 1500, and we also offer what is called the RSP, which is the retiree supplemental program. And in addition to that, uh, the government of Guam decided uh, at, at the very last minute to uh, self-insure the prescription drug benefit this year and that also is going to be administered by the other carrier so prescription drugs that are obtained at a retail pharmacy that will have to go through the other insurance company we are very proud of what we have provided to our uh, insured community we have over 12,000 members of the government of guam community that are insured with us uh, they got them used to the comprehensive medical networks that we provide he declined to discuss rates at this time. We're also waiting to hear back from DOA's director, Ed Byrne, on what the overall cost and what percentage of the premium will be paid by employees. And now to an update on a heartbreaking story we brought you about a dog named Oliver. The one stray animal was found badly injured after being brutally attacked. 
He's now on a strong road to recovery. The attacker is still on the run. Our Daniel Perez caught up with Oliver and shares this story. 30 stitches. That's how many Oliver, a medium-sized white and tan boonie dog, needed after animal lovers found him badly cut up and left to die. He was actually posted briefly on one of the rescue pages, and it was just showing his neck and how he had been attacked by a machete. And the lady that found him was taking him up to gain. Um, so I got a hold of her contact information. I called her. She was waiting actually in the parking lot of Gain. And I asked her how he was doing, if he was friendly still. And she said that he is the friendliest dog and still wagging his tail. Kelsey Grotner is one of the co-founders of Booney Fly Project. She's currently caring for Oliver. I took him to AMC and Dr. Malakuti fixed him right up. And his prognosis is great. Oliver was attacked behind the Fred Gabriel building in East Hagatnya on August 19th. Despite all he's gone through, he still remains very friendly and unafraid of human interaction. We met him today. He greeted us with wagging tail and lots of loving doggy kisses. The upside, Oliver's story caught the attention of animal lovers near and far. In fact, Grapner says once he is all healed up, Oliver will have a place to call home with his new and loving family off island. He actually has recently just been adopted. On our social media page, he has found his forever home. He's actually going to New York and going to live there as soon as he's healed and feeling better. For now, there are no new leads to Oliver's attacker, but territorial veterinarian Dr. Mariana Turner says that this immoral act must not go unpunished. Anyone with info regarding the attack is asked to call the Animal Health Division at 671-300-7964 or 7966 or email quarantine at doagguam.gov. Daniel Perez reporting for KUAM News. Good job on helping Oliver there. He's heading to the Empire State. Makes I you consider know. wanting to get a dog? Yeah, and he's flying private, so. Oh, lucky there. Yeah, happy Oliver found a home. And still to come on your news leader, an update on Guam's police department officers who are unfit for duty. And later, regional correspondent Tomas Mangotnia has the latest on the unemployment rate in the CNMI. These stories and more coming up next. Get up to the minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app, available at the App Store now. The rising cost of living is affecting all of us on Guam. Our administration has expanded a program. We want to pay for your child's daycare up to $675 a month per child. This means more money in your pocket to pay for other expenses like the cost of gas and groceries. The Leon Guerrero Tenorio administration is investing in Guam's future and that starts by supporting our working families. We are all in this together, Guam. This ad is paid for by government funds at the Office of the Governor and the Department of Public Health and Social Services. I have a tablet. I have no TV. Ooh. TV on tab. Get live TV on your tablet or any device with DTV Plus from Docomo Pacific. Watch live channels or stream from your favorite apps on any device, all from your home Wi-Fi. No cable lines, no hassle, more savings. All for only $35 a month with your link bundle. DTV Plus, your cable TV on Wi-Fi. Ooh, TV on tab. Guam was once home to over 12 native species of forest birds, each with their own unique sound, color, and role to play in our ecosystem. However, the arrival of the brown tree snake has threatened their existence. Today, only three of these species still exist in the wild. But what was once lost can be restored. Join the Department of Agriculture's efforts to restore our ecosystem. It is only through partnerships with various organizations and the community that we can give our native birds a future. Support snake suppression. Subscribe to our KOM News Digest, our weekly email newsletter with all kinds of information straight to your inbox. Just subscribe and we'll make sure to keep you informed and entertained with news from the KOM News team, what to watch on NBC and CBS, and the latest promotions from KOM Communications. Go to KOM.com, click on the newsletter tab at the top of the homepage, register, and you're all set. Brought to you by Uno Go, Guam On Demand. 
Welcome back. Well, Governor Lulian Guerrero will spend another night at the Guam Memorial Hospital as she continues to recover. As KUAM first reported, the governor was rushed to the hospital Wednesday afternoon following the Guam Chamber of Commerce gubernatorial forum at the Hilton. The Guerrero issuing this video message from her hospital bed last night, confirming that she is doing well. As it was, I had some bouts of coughing the last few days. After the debate, I called my pulmonologist, Dr. Jolene Ugin, and she insisted that I come to ER to be evaluated. As it turned out, I have viral pneumonia, not contagious, and I am COVID negative. Yay for vaccines. The governor is staying the second night at GMH as a precaution. Her doctor anticipates she will be well enough to go home tomorrow. As we reported, it was back in June. The governor had to go to the hospital for a respiratory infection following a separate debate between her and De Delegate Michael Nicholas. An update to the concerns that some local police officers are unfit for duty. The issue surfacing after several comps and GPD shared their frustration that some of their fellow officers may not be able to provide adequate backup when responding to emergency calls. As we reported, more than 60 uniformed members of the forces have yet to pass the police officer physical agility test or POPAT. The test is required by law. Chief Stephen Ignacio confirms those officers are currently taking it this month. He again admits his hands are tied with what to do with those officers that have yet to pass it. We've had officers uh, eight, nine, ten years, you know, have been on medical profiles and uh, they, they haven't been addressed and, and still to this day, you know, we don't have a process, a clear process in place uh, as to decertification. Ignacio says he still needs answers from the Post Commission and the Department of Administration on what actions to take. However, Commission officials told KUAM the chief has the authority to make the decision on his own. All local public safety agencies have until the end of the year to pass their required physical fitness test. And in regional headlines, Northern Mariana Islands Governor Ralph Torres declined to comment on recent news of at least one of his cabinet members being subpoenaed by the FBI. To testify before a grand jury in federal court related to the Imperial Pacific International Best Sunshine Casino, it's been three years since the FBI raided NMI Governor Ralph Torres' office, home, and brother's law firm in the office of IPI regional correspondent Tomas Manglotnia questioned Torres this Thursday morning. Um, I just wanted to ask about the recent FBI subpoenas. Uh, you know that... Uh, yeah, I don't, want to talk about, I don't want to talk about that one. Uh, are you aware of any other people? In, in I don't want to talk about that. Governor Torres refused to comment on the ongoing investigation apparently linked to the origins of the exclusive casino deal. It's yet to be seen what the federal grand jury will decide. Also up in the Northern Marianas, the Labor Department says there are a lot of jobs, but a lot of people still looking for work. They expect unemployment rates to dip as the pandemic eases. Regional correspondent Tomas Mangolina has the jobs report from Saipan. As CNMI government officials bring tourism back to life in the NMI, the Department of Labor says they expect to see downward trends in unemployment rates in the NMI as they continue to process the last batches of pandemic unemployment assistance. It's good that our economy is on the rebound slowly but surely. Um, we have more employers announcing positions. Employers are mostly seeking to fill roles in installation, repairs, maintenance, food service and food preparation. She says those positions are especially hard to fill. According to data from the department, there were at least 13,924 job openings this year, 2,000 in August alone, compared to just over 16,000 last year and 21,000 in 2020. First quarter of 2022, we had over 5,000 U.S. workers reported to the CNMI as uh, working, 5,300. Now, foreign national workers in the same quarter was about 4,000. A boom is expected anytime soon as international flights return and military projects ramp up. DOL says they're also paying out PUA up until next June. This past week, we only had about $300,000 in benefits paid out as compared to the past, the very beginning, when we had millions of dollars being paid out as benefits. And so what that tells me, the picture is more people are working and more people are having their hours 
um, increased. People are wanting to go back to work, yes, for the most part of this year of mine. And that work will only get busier as economies recover from the pandemic's blow. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News, reporting on Saipan. New vaccines against COVID and its variants have arrived on island, according to Public Health's Vaccinations Operation Chief Annette Uggen. These are the bivalent vaccines, otherwise known as the updated uh, the booster. For those individuals 12 years of age and older uh, who have completed their primary ser series to now get this bivalent booster vaccine, um, it contains the original strain of the spike the, that provides protection against the spike protein of the original COVID strain, the SARS-CoV-2, and now the new Omicron uh, variants of BA4 and BA5. Uh, so this will help enhance, uh, you know, the protection. Again, reminds Island residents that new bivalent vaccines are for those who are 12 years and older only. Kids below 12 can still avail the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines authorized for children from six months of age and older. You can receive the new vaccine or booster two months after you've completed your primary series or two months after your last booster dose. Well, stay tuned. Up next, Dave Delgado with your roundup of local sports. And still to come, this week's Touching Bases takes you to Anderson Air Force Base. You're watching KUAM News Primetime. all-new Hyundai Tucson. This is a brand new thing. That melty cheese you crave with double the steak is back at Taco Bell. The double steak grilled cheese burrito. JA Guam is inviting high school students to this year's JA Company program. You can register at ja-guam.org and learn about the different industries to consider for your future careers. Please join us on September the 10th at the GCC Multipurpose Room to kick off the JA Company program. Again, that's ja-guam.org. Register today. Sponsored by Bank of Hawaii, IP&E, Triple J. Prizes, SBDC, Title Guarantee, Graphic Center, Matson, GPO, Deloitte, GTA, Tan Holdings Guam, Outback, Guam Green Growth, Community First, and KUAM. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Athletics Director here at the OG Capitol Field House. Congratulations on another season of the uh, Triton Super League. Hi, Dave. Yeah, it's, it's great to get started again. I mean, we just finished up, I guess, back in uh, uh, April, May, and now we're back out here on, in September, and we got a full league of six teams this time. We added the uh, what used to be the Federated States of Micronesia's national team uh, to the leagues, so and now we got six full teams, so everybody's going to get at least ten games in regular season and at least one playoff game, and uh, we think this is the best league on the island, so we're ready to play. Not only representing the university, but also giving back and having uh, women basketball players a chance to step on the court and hopefully build on the, the women's game here on island. Yeah, uh, and this time we've actually got a, a, a much better contingent of Guam players here. So we've got five to six freshmen that came from uh, Guam high schools to play this time, plus four or five uh, returners. So. And uh, we got about 13 players on the team. I mean, last year, or excuse me, last time we had tryouts, we only had three players after, you know, after the tryouts, and we had to beg uh, players to play. But now, 
Uh, we've got a full team, and uh, we feel really good, and we're mo we most certainly are more athletic than we were uh, in the springtime, so we're hoping that that's going to relate to getting some victories this time around. On the men's side, a um, basketball player the island was familiar with, Logan Hopkins, uh, you know, a, a guy that can score all over the court. He's back, and he's, he's going to be suiting up for uh, the Tritons. Yep, uh, the men's, uh, the Triton men's basketball league really doesn't start till October 11th, but uh, they're going to play. Actually, this weekend, we got two teams involved in the three on three tournament here, the Clutch is doing. And then we're going to go down to Talafofo to play in a uh, community league again. So th they'll get some warm up games uh, before they get into the Triton League. And then again, we have a full six team Triton League with most of the same guys back for. Uh, from last year on our team and as well as the rest of the team. So that's going to, and we, same thing, we feel that's the most competitive uh, league on the island for the men as well. We follow the FIBA rules. We got the shot clock going and the whistle stops the clock. So instead of having a 45 minute game that we have in these, in, in these community leagues, when the clock doesn't stop, we got an hour and 45 minute game. So that's where the bombers can wear you down or the MVPs can you know, start hitting their threes late in the game and, 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 and taking their wins that way. So it, it really does make for a different game. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Hey, Mom. Hey, honey. What's all this? I had McDonald's money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Buy one of your faves, like a quarter pounder with cheese or 10 piece chicken McNuggets, and get another for just a dollar. Only at McDonald's. Calvo Select Care's comprehensive medical provider network offers our members choice and access to quality facilities locally in Asia, Hawaii, and the continental United States. We provide our members several wellness programs and healthy options to improve their overall health status. Calvo Select Care, healthcare that's always there for you. Contact us today for more information. Half a day. Hi. That will be $20, please. I forgot my Mobile Smiles Drivers Rewards card. No worries. You can now use your registered mobile number to earn points. Can I use my mobile number to redeem rewards? Sure. Just show us your photo ID or driver's license. That's easy. Welcome back. In this week's Touching Basis, our Jonah Goncharfris is up at Anderson Air Force Base taking a look at the training conducted with Fire and Emergency Services when it comes to response to aircraft emergencies. Training not until they get it right, but rather training until they can't get it wrong. That's the mindset of Anderson Fire and Emergency Services, who recently conducted a KC-135 aircraft egress exercise, which simulates an in-flight emergency landing. The goal for the first responders is to safely evacuate passengers and crew in a timely manner before anything ignites. Anderson Fire Captain Nicholas Harris. The most important part, training. Uh, we train 24-7 all day every day um just making sure we're prepared for not only the what if but when it happens making sure we're up to get, make the challenge for this exercise which they conduct three to four times a year it's all hands on deck with all three fire stations on base participating each having a specific responsibility once they get the call that initiates the emergency <laughs> It 
it's going to pretty much show our capabilities here at Anderson Fire Department, what we do for the base, uh, what we do for the community, and pretty much it's going to give you a full picture of how we keep Anderson safe, but more importantly, how we keep the Pacific region um, safe and, and enables the Air Force to do its mission. this intense exercise, Anderson Fire Training Chief Chris Pacificar rounded up the crew where they took time to share mutual operational knowledge and experiences and what needs to be improved. With this week's Touching Bases, I'm Jonah Gancharpas. Well, ready to munch on mooncakes, Hannah? I have never tried one before, but we are going tomorrow. Yeah, another thing to check off that bucket <laughs> list. You can taste it during the kickoff for the Mid-Autumn Festival. It's hosted by the Guam Philharmonic Foundation as they bid farewell to the Saigon exhibit. The Mooncake Festival happens tomorrow from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock at night at the Tumon Sands Plaza. It's a family-friendly event where you can enjoy the Mooncake Festival and remembering Saigon exhibit. You can also expect uh, other Asian pastries, pop-up vendors, and entertainment from up-and-coming youth stars. Also, a reminder that the Remembering Saigon exhibit closes next week, September 15th. And we wrap up the show with your birthday shout outs. Here's Jason Salas. It is the eighth day of the ninth month of the year 2022, so we say happy birthday to Jess Anthony Duckowitz, who celebrates birthday number 10. Jess has hit the double digit mark. Congratulations. I, I know Jess's family, wonderful, wonderful people. And Jess, your birthday shout out says, we wish you have a wonderful day and hope you enjoy your day today. We love you. Say mom, dad, your siblings, and the family. Shout out to Jess and Jess's family. And also Rose Quintanilla Cabrera gets a special, not one, but two birthday shout outs because Miss Rose turns 90 today. So greeting number one says, happy 90th birthday, Grandma Tsai. Love your adoring familia. Greeting number two says, happy blessed 90th birthday, Grandma Tsai. I miss and love you, Bula Plenty. With all the love in the world, Lori, Joel, and your Cabrera family. So Jess and Miss Rose, Miss Rosa, happy birthday to you both. Happy birthday, everyone. You can be a part of our Coatstone Creamery Birthday Club as well. Just check it out on KUAM.com. And that's our show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nick Delgado. And I'm Hannah DeBonzo. Have a great evening and please stay safe, Guam. Good night. Good night. Local Music Mashup is brought to you by Burger King, BK Your Way, and American Music, located in the Capadres Mall. Hey guys, we are back. It's another month, another jam-packed show. I'm talking about Local Music Mashup, being brought to you by our friends over at Burger King. And remember, it's September, a whole new month, and they're bringing back, guess what? Chicken fries, baby! Woo! All you gotta do is stop on by all month long, any of the locations, and all you have to say is, I love, 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 love the chicken fries, and they'll hook you up with a free nine-piece set. Mm -mm -mm. Now that sounds good. All right, so, also being brought to you by American Music. Uh, check out our friends over at the Compadres Mall. Uh, they got everything and anything you need, music, equipments, accessories, they got you. So stop on by and uh, check them out at Compadres Mall. All right, so let's get to the show. We kick off the show with an amazing brand new music video that's out, and it's from Chad Rivera. Check it out. Oye, Rach, el chico que estás viendo, ¿qué onda? ¿Está lindo? Ay, se mira un poco como Playboy. ¿Quieres verlo? Sí, a ver. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, let me see. Oh, my God. He looks like he can break my heart. Give me his number now. 
<laughs> Stop. <laughs> Are you done after this, chat? Yeah, I'm gonna go home and literally just exist. Vamos a la playa. Vamos a la playa. Vamos. No quiero, no quiero. <laughs> ¿Por qué estoy no? Estoy bien, estoy bien. Ya, yeah, pero ¿por qué no? Perdón, estoy muy cansada ahora. Mm. Yeah, you guys are good, you guys are good. You guys go, have fun. What are you gonna do home? Aburrido, solo. Come on. I don't even have clothes. Woo! All right. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Let's go. video by Chad Rivera. Keep it up, man. Those were amazing. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. We're back with more Local Music Mashup. Local Music Mashup is brought to you by Burger King, BK Your Way, and American Music, located in the Capadres Mall. Hi, today I'm Kalina from Docs Kitty College. And I'm Kristen from Docs Daycare and Preschool. And we are so honored to be caring for the children of Guam. The Governor's Child Care Programs help businesses like ours to really focus on the kids. These programs also help nonprofits and after school programs and grandparents and so many families. Visit www.guamchildcare.com to learn more about the Governor's Child Care Programs. This ad is paid for with funds administered by DPHSS. Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist. Over 20 years of experience. Local Music Mashup is brought to you by Burger King, BK Your Way, and American Music, located in the Capadres Mall. The show continues, Local Music Mashup. We're down here at the BK location in Hagatni. We're about to order some chicken fries. But hey, the show must go on. So, here we go. Our next performer is Fluffy Mendiola with another amazing Chamorro classic. Check it out.
Send it our way. Local music mashup. We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. Local music mashup is brought to you by Burger King, BK Your Way, and American Music, located in the Capadres Mall. I have a phone. I have no TV. Ooh, TV on phone. Get live TV on your phone or any device with DTV Plus from Docomo Pacific. Watch live channels or stream from your favorite apps on any device, all from your home Wi-Fi. No cable lines, no hassle, more savings. All for only $35 a month with your Link Bundle. DTV Plus, your cable TV on Wi-Fi. Ooh, TV on phone. MTO Maintenance will now completely sanitize your home, office, or business with state-of-the-art commercial sprayers. For over 30 years, MTO Maintenance has been committed to the health and safety of our customers. And now, more than ever, a clean home, office, carpets, and furniture is a necessity to our island. Give us a call today. Stay healthy and stay safe, Guam. Call 647-6861 for an appointment. Pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot. Pop my classic and spicy 50-50 popcorn chicken combo, only at Jack in the Box. Watch Mariana's artists, activists, and visionaries and their quest to protect, preserve, and promote Archimoto culture on The Culture Club, a weekly feature on KUAM News Digital Platform and the KUAM News Weekend Edition. Culture Club is brought to you by Tropical Ice, the purest, cleanest ice in Guam. The Culture Club, winner of the 2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Yasunto gilingwahin ni Tato Tano gi KUM News Samoro News Update sa stream gi gi internet gi Isla Radio na ni KUM News YouTube na channel. Patis ti gidiw da din kinimitin mami para insisten ni ilin alay lingwahita din kuturata para todi generasyon siya. Ninafat ni Samoro News Update ni Familia Nizu gi First Hawaiian Bank. is brought to you by Burger King, BK Your Way, and American Music, located in the Capadres Mall. 
Welcome Music Mashup, and we are back. Before we get to the show, I did order myself a chicken fry because here in September, we are celebrating Chicken Fries Friday. All you have to do is every Friday, check out any of the Burger King locations and say, I love, love, love the chicken fries, and they hook you up with a nine piece uh, chicken fry set when you get a chicken fries combo meal. So stop on by every, any, any Friday here in September and just say, I love, love, love the chicken fries and Burger King got you. All right, I'm gonna get to the chicken fries, but I'm gonna give you guys your next performance. Right, next up, we got some rock for you guys, some classic rock. Here's Steven and Frank with a Bon Jovi cover. Check it out. I'm a cowboy on the steel 
by Stephen and Frank. Keep it up, guys. If you guys got more, send it our way. All right, guys, so we're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more of Local Music Mashup. Local Music Mashup is brought to you by Burger King, BK Your Way, and American Music, located in the Capadres Mall. The rising cost of living is affecting all of us on Guam. Our administration has expanded a program. We want to pay for your child's daycare up to $675 a month per child. This means more money in your pocket to pay for other expenses like the cost of gas and groceries. The Leon Guerrero Tenorio administration is investing in Guam's future and that starts by supporting our working families. We are all in this together, Guam. This ad is paid for by government funds at the Office of the Governor and the Department Department of Public Health and Social Services. The all-new Hyundai Tucson. The most tempting part of your week is guaranteed to be Subway and Chili's Lunchbox Hours. Tune in Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Breeze 93.9 FM. Catch the greatest hits of your lifetime from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and the 2000s while you grub on a mouth-watering Subway footlong sandwich or tantalizing flavors you love from Chili's. Your Lunchbox Hours brought to you by Subway and Chili's. Do you 